<laughs> what is up everyone, welcome back to another Eminem aquascaping video. Today's the day I've finally grown the to buy everything I need to aquascape my forefoot. I've had it for six months now and um, we're finally doing it. We've also got Matt here. <laughs> so without further ado, let's crack on. So I'm just going to turn everything off, the heater, the that, 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 the heater, the filter, air pump is all off. Um, and then I'm going to take all these plants down, light off, lids off, uh, and then we're going to drain it out into this big water drum like we did with the six foot. Um, if you haven't seen it, the, pit, the link to that video is up there. Up there? Up there, yeah, just... Yeah. Um, but we've done Matt's fish tank, exactly the same as what we're doing here, we're just rescaping it. Um, so yeah, let's crack on. So all the fish are out, the water's down. Uh, we're just taking the old substrate out, um, ready for a blank canvas. Um, nice. So we'll catch you very shortly once all the old sand out. All right, that is the tank clean and ready to go. That was my job. You might have seen me and Mitch was doing different jobs there. Mitch's job was to clean the hoses in his filter and uh, he strikes again. He's broken it um, for some reason. Uh, let, me just, let me just show you. Okay, so this is what he's done here. You can see that there. The inlet has completely snapped off while he was trying to clean it. <laughs> so luckily for us, uh, he's actually quite friendly with the local um, fish shop, the fish den, which you've seen us go to before. 
um, they're closed. This is a Sunday, it's getting quite late in the evening now, they're closed. Luckily, they've been nice enough to go down there, meet Mitch there and sell him a filter out of hours. So if they are watching, shout out to them, thank you very much for doing that. Also, Mitch, you are an absolute So the tank's all clean, it's all cleared out, all ready to go. You can see a little bit of dust and stuff on there, but once it's filled up, once the filtration's on, you ain't gonna see it. Uh, the back, black background is on. I, went, I was gonna go for blue, but I changed my mind and I feel like the black will look a lot better. So, um, Matt's obviously told you that I broke the filter, so I've just went and bought a new one. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna transfer all the media and stuff from the old filter into the new filter, so it's technically the same. Set all the hose in and pipe in and the heater up um, before we do anything else um, and start scaping. Wow, um, so the new filter's on, heater's in. Um, I used the old outlet, inlet and outlet to uh, the pond, all pond solutions filter on the better filter because these ones curve into the tank and because it's got this glass lip all the way around, it's just easier to maneuver and take off and wash. So um, yeah, filter's on, heater's in. Um, first of all, I'm going to put in some of these um, aqua soil bags just to build it up and obviously it's extra nutrients so it's better than just having shingle I suppose um, and then I'm going to go with a layer of Nutribase um, and then I'll just cap it all with silver sand. This stuff here, I think I've got enough, I should have enough and if I don't then well, to be continued. But first of all, let's just uh, crack on with Kind of hip of it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so I've just put in some bags of aqua soil. That was from the rainbow fish tank. Um, I just saved them just in case I needed them. So I've just banked them in the middle so I can then put Nutribase over the top, Colombo's finest, um, and then cap it with sand. So we're just, we're just cracking on. Say it again. <laughs> you can't buy that experience. Thank you, Daddy. What the hell is even that?
Now this is the confusing part because I don't actually remember how I had it. We might need to get a couple rocks in there to help steady it. Yes. Plant can just be like So what do we have here, Matt? We've got a load of plants, Mitchell. A load of plants Woo! that are missing all their tags because there's a among us, as always, that took all the things out, all the little tags out before. No, so, so, so I bought the plants from separate shops. So we have Nymnophila, Labellia cardinalis, that, Pos, Pos, po, Pogostemon, Pogostetum, how fair? Wigia palustrius, Anubius, Java fern, and then whatever this is. Mix and match special plant. Hawaiian. Mix and match, yeah. Hawaiian and then, bumper. And then this, we also got three pots of this, but it looks really good from the top. I bought that from the That's fish That's the den. one that goes red, right? Yeah. Red, Listen to us aquascapers, this is the one that goes really red, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Le without Duigia. further... That's the Duigia. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's not, without further ado, let's plant. Right, so it's all filled up. Um, as you see in the time lapse, it did float, um, but we've managed to wedge it down. So I have got to take the light off because I've ordered a new light. Uh, I've ordered a Fluval Plant 3.0. So that'll be getting hung from the ceiling. So then we can have a big piece lily growing out of the top. Um, I'm going to add a few more bits of Anubius just to cover some glue points. But um, other than that, we're going to chuck the plecos and catfish and corys in and then go for the discus and angels. So Matt's going to pass them to me and I'm going to put them into the tank. Let's do this. <laughs> 
because it's getting on now. It's very late. So once we got to that point, uh, everything started going downhill um, and we ended up wrapping up the video from there. All the wood started floating to the top, everything started coming apart um, and it was like quarter past 11 at night and Matt still had an hour and a half drive home. So we ended the video, I, I was in a bit of a mood to be honest because we worked so hard on it. Um, but things happen and it did, just didn't go our way that day. So what I did was I just left it for a couple of a couple of weeks, I think it was. Just calmed myself down a bit and just reevaluated it. Once leaving the tank that night, I come down in the morning and it had leaked 25% of the water out of the filter hose because I didn't do it up enough. So there was water all behind the tank, it started to smell. So I then had to pull the tank out and because of the water damage, the background that we stuck on then started bubbling. So I took the background off, I painted the black background black, cleaned the carpet with a vax, um, just got it all set up again. But what I did was I, I brought my old four foot tank, my old rainbow fish four foot tank into the dining room, put all the fish into there with a filter. So they was fine for a couple of days if, if I needed to have more time. I then painted the back cleaned the carpet and I then put the tank back and rescaped it. I didn't film none of it because I just wanted to get it done. Filming while scaping takes a lot longer so I just wanted to get it done. Smashed it out um, and I'll overlay some clips now of what it looks like. I'm very happy with it. It took a little bit longer than I thought um, but we're going to do an update video very soon um, just to Give you an update on what's been going on i've connected the co2 i've put a different wave maker in there i've put two heaters in there like it's, it's fully kitted out now um but yeah sorry with the, about the content at the end it was just a, a matter of getting it done rather than filming so we hope you like the video and if you did go down below subscribe share with your friends leave a comment and let us know how you think but i'm really happy with the tank and yeah See you on the next one. See ya.